Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Ducks and Download channel. On this figure review, we're going to be going over three of my absolute favorite figures ever, which just so happen to all be from the same timeline and the Expanded Universe line. We will be looking at Shea Vizsla, the Republic Trooper, Old Republic of course, and Darth Malgus. First, let's take a look at Shea Vizsla. Shea Vizsla, of course, is one of my absolute favorite characters from the SWOTOR MMORPG games and one of the best Vizslas out there. Fight me, you Tar Vizsla Supremists. Shea Vizsla has an amazing and absolutely gorgeous card back. I love that art rendition of the character. The expanded universe topping, nice green color, really makes the figure pop, and comes with some amazing accessories. And for the price, this figure is absolutely a must grab. I believe it's still currently available. This is the re-release though, the, this is not the original release. This was the re-release that they just did in 2022. We have fire effects, both blasters, amazing paint jobs all around. BC 101. You see this is a very exclusive. I gotta put this one <laughs> the gaming grades entirely. Camera logo down here. Yeah, absolutely amazing figure. Really good face sculpt. The hair is really nice, and the helmet, everything spot on with the game. So definitely an amazing figure. Again, these expanded universe ones are my absolute number ones. I guess one through three, if you would call it. I definitely put Shea Vizsla at number two out of my favorites. Next, we have the Old Republic Trooper. Also, again, of course, expanded universe, Star Wars line. Kind of go down at the bottom. Now again, just like with Shea Vizsla, this could almost be a deluxe and is very well priced for all the things you get for it. Having the heavy repeating blaster in the back, a knife, the little blaster here, amazing belt and side accessories. Okay, look at that one. Here's the side, got a better look at the blaster. The helmet sculpt is absolutely brilliant. It matches, of course, spot on with these SWOTOR characters. Um, I especially love this card back. You can see the fire in the background, the bit of trees here. Almost reminds me of one of the main cinematics that we got for the early days and launch of the SWOTOR game. Um, some might also call this the Havoc Squad Trooper, but it is, of course, just heavy Republic Trooper armor, and it looks awesome. Uh, there's a variant with a comma in the game, which <laughs> maybe one day, you know, but right now, anything Old Republic, I'll take. And of course, guys, since I do collect in-box with these, and I don't have enough money to sadly buy two of everything at the moment, uh, these will stay in card. Uh, I have heard the articulation, of course, on these ones are really good, as they are new articulation points. Just simple remakes. Back of this one has a lot more. VC113. This is the Bo-Katan, the Sokotano line. I almost forgot that this dropped just at that same time as well. So this is also from a 2022 restock wave. Another absolutely amazing figure. And one I would also highly recommend for any trooper lover out there. The Old Republic Troopers might not be like clones, but they're just as badass. And now onto the number one, my absolute favorite vintage collection figure I own to this very day. Darth Malgus. Again, same exact expanded universe card top here with a brilliant picture here of Malgus. That looks like the Jedi Temple behind him. This would have been when Malgus actually conquered the Jedi Temple of Coruscant during the Old Republic War days. Has the old, you could win a life-size Darth Maul statue and the character debut sticker. This is, of course, an original release. Uh, this one cost me about $70. I've actually recently looked it up on the market. It's almost going for 90 now, and it's definitely worth that. With him especially coming out as a black series, uh, more than likely at the end of this year, I am super stoked to own this one now, and I'm happy I got it when I did. So I'll definitely have to display him next to his black series counterpart, which will be a deluxe. Can't wait for that. You can see the old card there underneath. <laughs> it doesn't have the same uh, warranty card anymore. Of course, that changed. Amazing armor though. We have the lightsaber with no blade on and lightsaber with blade on. The old fashioned where they would carry it across them instead of like as an accessory straight up and down on the side. Let's get a nice zoom in look here on the face sculpt. 
really amazing face sculpt with him. The red eyes, the wrinkles, the mask. The armor looks great and extremely original print and manufacturing a mold for this character and I was so happy for that. Can't wait to get him in a six inch version, but for now I will be ever so happy with this absolutely brilliant 3.75. Here's the old VC96 uh, backing. Luke, Anakin, Imperial Navy, Vader. Oh, it looks like I'm getting up some of the older uh, ships at that time. I'll give that to the Vintage Collection. The ships have always been one of the best and most drawing things about that. If only the 6 inch could have more ships. But yeah, as Vintage Collection figures go, this is absolutely my number one. I cannot express how happy I was to find this. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions about any of the figures you've ever seen in any of my reviews, please leave one down below. If you ever see a figure in the background of my videos that you would personally like me to review next, make sure to leave it in the comment as well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video so we can grow the community. And, of course, I'm going to keep making a lot of these fun videos as i got enough of these backstock figures to be going through and really reviewing. Have an amazing rest of your day, and as always, remember... The Force will serve you well.